I'll wear this shirt in every video if I want to. What do you want to talk about? Oh, iTunes 8. <laughs> Let's talk about iTunes 8. I really wish that iTunes 8 was a, uh, a program that you have to pay for because then I'd pirate it and feel a lot better about myself. Apple's a terrible company. I don't want to. I don't even want to talk about iTunes 8. It's going to be really pretty thumbnails. It's got something called the Genius Playlist. Stop using the word genius. The word does not apply to Mac users. They want to look trendy and they want an accessory that's going to go with their shoes and their stupid square black glasses. Here's the way it works. If you've got an Apple, you go to your local coffee shop with your damn square glasses and your pointy slick shoes, and your jeans, and your t-shirt that says something like, I love Apple or save a chicken, eat a tree or something like that. I don't know what you guys do. You sit there and you open it up and every time like a girl walks by that looks like she is a vegetarian aerobics instructor, you go, hey, what's up? I'm writing a screenplay. It's about this girl who meets a snake, but she doesn't really know it, but she's only dreaming and the snake is actually a man that she's interacting with while she's sleepwalking for the entire movie. It's brilliant. Not really a genius there. Maybe you're an idiot. Another reason I don't like Mac using the word genius is because when I think genius, I do not think of a Mac user. I think of someone who uses Linux. Because let's face it, if you're a genius, you're probably on Linux. Or maybe you're uh, hacking around on uh, a Windows PC. If you've got Mac, you've got it because you like bubbly things and you like clicking shiny things that have reflections. See now this genius business goes through your music and it puts together songs that are similar. I'm not sure how it's going to know about any of my music because you know my music's like real music. Like metal, it's not that gay stuff that iTunes recommends when you open up their main page. Like people that look like people that would shop at the Apple Store. And another thing that I don't like about the uh, Genius deal is that it recommends songs that you might like. So it's really just, uh, you know, they disguise a cool feature or something that would be a cool feature as another tool to rake in the bucks and up the sales. That's why I don't like Apple. They, they, the only way that they innovate is ways that put money into their pocket. They don't innovate by giving anything back to the, uh, the crowd or anything back to the audience. They make these devices that are really cool. They lock you into them. Like iTunes is a very, very closed platform. You can't develop plugins for it. And there is a, a, a way to develop plugins for it, but not on the newest version. On the older versions, there's uh, some hacks that you can do to get it to uh, work, to get some skins to work and that sort of thing. As it is, iTunes is a very good way to organize your music, uh, but it's really slow. All right, who's doing this? It, it's Mac Daddy. I'm telling him I'm making a video right now. He's better at Photoshop than I am. I don't know why he's asking me questions, Mac Daddy. It's hard to type with one eyeball. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Rudely interrupted by Mac Daddy. As far as the uh, iTunes. Okay, the audio for the Mac sounds better than the audio for the PC because play both the words of the audio engine, the rendering engine, or whatever for the audio is better on the Mac. But with the PC, you're stuck with the uh, lame QuickTime audio. And one thing, it's slow. Uh, so, and it also, you notice it um, eats up a lot of system resources. Now, with the older versions of iTunes, you could do a hack and use the actual audio engine from Fubar to play your uh, songs, which makes the songs sound better because. Even with the new version, uh, iTunes 8, iTunes sounds like complete mud when you, li when you listen to that and then you go over to FUBAR. It's a, a much better platform for music anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's my little rant on the uh, new iTunes 8 that came out. I'm not even going to show any screenshots or anything of it. If you're an iTunes person, you'll go ahead and download it because that's what you're supposed to do because you're in a cult, Apple people. Uh, maybe you'll wear square glasses and jeans too. And go in there and get in line for advice from a Mac genius. I'll tell you one more thing about the Apple Store. Uh, when you go in there and you feel like you're getting your advice, what you're really getting is a bunch of excuses why you need to give them all your money. And they overcharge you and they slap their name on pieces of plastic that should sell for $15 and they sell them for 90 because they're really selling a lifestyle. So this is my uh, Apple Up Yours video. If you really, really want like a powerful PC, you should probably build something that has Linux on it. Sorry, it's the only open platform on the market. 
I'm using Windows because I play games, and that's what I do. And if you don't like it, why don't you go sit on a whole bunch of poison snakes? Yeah.